video is sponsored by Skillshare. Aside from crocheting and coloring, I am also into sewing. Last summer, I got my own sewing machine and started to learn more how to sew. And I really like to learn and to explore more my crafts. And at the moment, I am taking a class about sewing and to practice more, I am taking a classes by Denise Viron, class of cycling by Vida Vasquez, and about fabrics by Caroline Somos and other sewing lessons. In Skillshare, they offer a lot of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity. Skillshare is also a great resources to level up your skills. You can take classes such as illustrations, embroidery, graphic designs, as well as self-care or something about plants and many more. As a treat, if you would like to explore and try Skillshare, the first 1,000 people to use the link or my code in the description will get a one-month premium trial of Skillshare and enjoy the benefits of ad-free so you can stay in the zone while you are exploring new skills and new premium classes every week so there's always something new to discover so get your free trial in the description and enjoy the benefits of Skillshare now let's move on to the tutorial Hello everyone, it's Crochet by Beb. Welcome to my channel. For this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this bag. This bag is made of the Sunburst Granny Squares. You just need to make a 14 total of the Sunburst Granny Squares and then joining them together, making this single crochet at the top and then making the handle or the strap. For your reference, the final measurement of my bag is 14 inches wide and 12 inches long not including the strap or the handle and the square my square is 4.75 inches or 12 centimeters 12 by 12 centimeters but uh, it's a bit uh, stretchable so it's like 5 inches you can make your squares 5 by 5 inches but of course you can make your squares bigger so you can have a bigger final outcome of your bag and my handle this is a total of uh, 13 inches or 33 centimeters but i work half of this and then half in this part so this is a 6.5 inches then 6.5 inches i attach them together so this is a total of 13 inches just a note this is a personal preference how long i want for my handle you can do also longer okay for the materials i use a total of 260 grams of scrap yarn and the main color is this so i use this scrap yarn so you can use also your scrap yarns and i use this three of these of 50 grams for my main color this color so this is a hobby rainbow so they are mixed this is eight ply and this is nine ply this is the drops paris so i just combine them so i use these scrap yarns but i use all three skins of this this is 15 grams and five millimeter hook scissors yarn needle tape measure and stitch marker so that's it all right so before we start please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you can share your work with me if you're using my tutorial in my instagram at crochet by beb and i appreciate well and just enjoy making your bag and let's start all right so now i'm going to show you how to make the sunburst square so these are the scrap yarns that I used to make my squares. We will be needing three different colors to make the circle first and then one color for your main color. So I use this for my main color. So my yarn is a mix of number three weight yarn and DK weight yarn. All right, so let's start uh, making the square. So we'll first make the circle and then we're going to turn it as a square so first we're going to make a magic circle and then chain three to start and this chain three counts as our first 
double crochet and then 15 more double crochet so it will be a total of 16 double crochet including these three chains okay so double crochet inside your magic circle so a total of 15 double crochet and then including the chain three total of 16 double crochet for our first round okay continue your double crochet all right so when you are done your 16 total double crochet now we're going to pull this to tie it our round just pull it tight and then here we're going to slip stitch on top of our chain three this first stitch one two three so just slip stitch in there I want it to be secure my round one so I'm going to chain one here and then cut my yarn so our round one is done so later i'm going to show you how to secure this yarn we're going to make it very secure because we're making a bag all right so for our round two we're going to make a puff stitch this stitch so insert your yarn here in any of the stitches where do you prefer it's up to you so i want to insert my yarn here and then from here i want it to be secure so i tie there and then insert your hook into the same space then to start we're going to make a puff stitch so first we're going to pull a bit like this as high of a double crochet then yarn over and then insert your hook into the same stitch then grab a yarn pull a bit up then again yarn over insert hook into the same stitch grab a yarn pull a bit up then one more yarn over insert hook and then grab a yarn pull a bit up now you have a total of seven loops on your hook and then yarn over all into that loops and then chain one to secure your stitch all right for the next stitch we're going to do again this pop stitch so yarn over insert into your next stitch then grab a yarn pull a bit up so we're going to do this three times so again two times more one two three okay and then count your loops on your hook if you have a total of seven then yarn over pull all into that loops then chain one to secure your stitch okay so we're going to do that in every of the stitches so again yarn over insert hook grab a yarn pull a bit up yarn over insert grab a yarn pull a bit up yarn over insert grab a yarn pull a bit up and then you have seven loops on your hook yarn over pull all into that loops and then chain one to secure your stitch now you have three pop stitch and then continue into the stitches so you're going to have a total of 16 pop stitch into your round two okay so again i'm going to show you yarn over insert pull a bit up yarn over insert pull a bit up yarn over insert pull a bit up as you notice i'm holding this so it will still have the height that i wanted for my pop stitch you can do that also okay and I'm carrying my tail here, the beginning tail, and my tail from my first round. So you can do that so you're going to have uh, less weaving of ends. As you can see here, I only have to weave this and this. So you can carry it along into the stitches when you do the stitches for the next round okay so again i'm going to show you how to do the puff stitch yarn over insert here into your next stitch grab a yarn pull a bit up yarn over insert grab pull a bit up yarn over insert grab pull a bit up you have seven loops on the hook yarn over pull all into that loops then chain one to secure okay 
so do that into all your stitches a total of 16 pop stitches all right so when you are done your 16 pop stitches now we're going to slip stitch here into the chain one space just slip stitch so but remember you have your chain one here okay just slip stitch and then to secure chain one then cut your yarn then our round two is done for round three we're going to make a cluster stitch or four double crochet together to start we're going to insert our yarn in any of the chain spaces this you can start any up there so for me i want to start here so just tie your new yarn here to be secure then we're going to make a chain two to begin and then yarn over insert our hook and then pull two loops don't complete your double crochet then yarn over insert again then pull two loops then yarn over insert then pull two loops so you have one two three four double crochet and complete so now we're going to yarn over all into that loops to complete our four double crochet together then chain two then we're going to do that all the way around into the chain space so for the next stitch here yarn over insert there then pull through two don't finish your double crochet yarn over insert pull through two again so pull through two so four double crochet together so now you have five loops on the hook so before here in your first cluster it's only four in your hook so now you have five loops and then chain two okay so we're going to repeat that all the way into the chain space so again yarn over insert then pull through two yarn over insert grab a yarn pull through two yarn over insert grab a yarn pull through two then one more so you have one two three four and then i mean four incomplete double crochet then pull all into that loops then chain two to complete your cluster okay so do that all the way around so a total of uh, 16 cluster also for our round three all right so when you are done your 16 cluster then chain two here and we're going now to slip stitch here into the chain space just slip stitch there and then chain one to secure and cut yarn and you are done your round three and now we're going to turn our circle into square so insert your yarn in any of the chain two spaces so for me here all right first we're going to make the corner half of the corner so this part so we're going to make first the half of the corner chain four and this chain four counts as our first triple crochet and then we're going to make for two triple crochet so yarn over twice then insert into the same space then make your triple crochet then one more yarn over twice insert grab a yarn pull through two pull through two then last two loops you have three triple crochet here so this is the half of the corner so now we're going to make the side to continue the side we're going to work three triple crochet then three double crochet then three half double crochet then three double crochet then corner three triple crochet chain two three triple crochet then repeat the side three double crochet three half double crochet three double crochet then corner again three triple crochet chain two three triple crochet then the side corner then side to make our circle into square okay so here we're going to make three double crochet then here next three half double crochet
so next is space three double crochet so you can see here i'm still carrying my tail so it will last maybe not ends then now we're going to work here the corner so the corner is three triple crochet so yarn over twice that is one that is two and three three triple crochet then chain two then another three triple crochet into the same space then side three double crochet then three half double crochet then three double crochet then corner again okay so we're going to do that all the way around so again here three double crochet then next three half double crochet then three double crochet then corner so again three triple crochet chain two three triple crochet all right so continue your round four to make your circle into a square so just repeat here on the side three double crochet three half double crochet then three double crochet then corner three triple crochet chain to three triple crochet then side again then we're going to slip stitch here into the first stitch so we're going to work our last three triple crochet then chain two then slip stitch okay so continue your run for then we're going to slip stitch here into the beginning okay so here you work your last three triple crochet to complete your corner and then chain two and then slip stitch on top of the first stitch or the fourth chain here just slip stitch then i want it to be secure again so i'm gonna chain one there then cut yarn now you are done your sunburst square my square has a measurement of 4.75 inches or 12 centimeters so 12 by 12 it's a less bit of 5 inches but you can make your square bigger if you would like a bigger square or if you are using a thinner yarn you can make your square bigger like doing here don't cut your yarn just make another round of all double crochet so i'm going to explain it to you so here when you are done your last round slip stitch then slip stitch here into the next slip stitch also here then go into this space and work your first stitch here you're going to work three double crochet here then three double crochet three double crochet three double crochet then in the corner work three double crochet chain two three double crochet and then the sides all double crochet so all double crochet so it's no three triple crochet or half double crochet so all double crochet to make your round or to make your square bigger okay so again so i'm not going to show you i'm just going to explain it to you how to make your square bigger when you slip stitch here into your beginning stitch slip stitch more into these two stitch stitches then you're going to start here you're going to start chaining three and that is your first double crochet then two more double crochet to make it three double crochet then go into the next three double crochet into the next space so in this space three double crochet then next space three double crochet then corner three double crochet chain to three double crochet then work into the space three double crochet three double crochet three double crochet three double crochet then three double crochet chain to three double crochet into the corner okay so you're going to work like that if you would like to make your square bigger so for me this is the right measurement that i would like for my square so this is a bit lesser of five inches 4.75 or 12 centimeters 12 by 12 centimeters okay but if you're going to stretch a bit so it will like a 5 inches square and later it will stretch more because i'm going to add the stitches here in the middle so there is a bit stretch of my square 
all right so make a total of 14 sunburst square and then we're going to sew them all together okay now i'm going to show you how to properly secure our tail here so just grab your yarn needle and make it secure grab a bit a, one loop here and then tie just go here and and then just weave in into the stitches. Alright, so I'm going to weave all my ends now. And then we're going to sew the squares together. Okay? Alright, so these are all my square done. So if you are now done your square and weave all the ends, now we're going to sew the squares together. Now group your squares 2 into 4 squares and then 3 into 2 squares and then we're going now to sew them together so this is not my final arrangement of my square just to show you so 4 squares 2 4 squares then 3 2 squares then we're going to sew these squares together so for example this we're going to sew these four squares like that and then the two squares joining them together so now i'm going to show you how to sew the squares together all right so i'm going to show you how to do this so i did a two way to stitch our squares together so i did a single crochet and then the slip stitch into the front loop and back loop of the stitches i mean the this stitch the front loop and then the back loop of this stitch so just face together your squares the good side facing each other and then we're going to do a single crochet or a slip stitch it's up to you so this is how it look like so this part is the single crochet and this is the slip stitch it's going to look like that you see the difference this is the single crochet and this is the slip stitch it's up to you you can do also by using your yarn needle to sew the squares together just put your squares the good side facing each other and then do the stitching here so this is the single crochet and then the slip stitch so it's going to look like that so you can choose whether you like it uh, single crochet the stitch and then the slip stitch or do with the yarn needle so i'm going to show you how to do that so i'm going to remove this and to show you so here this is the good side and then facing each other and then we're going to start in this corner so there is two chains here right so Put your hook, insert your yarn here into the second chain in this side and then also in this side. Then insert your yarn here. So I'm using my main collar, this collar. So I tie it there and then just do your stitching. If you want single crochet or the slip stitch, it's up to you. For me, I'm going to do the slip stitching. And then when I'm going to connect all the squares, I'm, I mean the four squares into the two squares to form them into one. So I'm going to use the single crochet. So for now, I'm going to use the slip stitch method. Okay, to start when you do the slip stitch or single crochet, you do a chain here, chain one. And then here at the front loop and then into the back loop of this uh, square of this stitch, do your single crochet or slip stitch. For me, slip stitch, so I do a slip stitch. And then back loop here and then front loop. I mean front loop here and then back loop then slip stitch or do your single crochet if you do your sing single crochet okay so do like that so as you can see here the slip stitch i take only one loop and then one loop then slip stitch okay so continue like this so this is only for the two squares group so i am gonna end here into the one chain 
then i'm going to secure my yarn in this part okay so i'm going to finish here then show you the final of this uh, joining of these two squares Okay, so end your slip stitch here into the one chain. So don't do the second chain. This is for the other part here. So only in the one chain here. And then just chain one and to make it secure your slip stitch. And then cut your yarn. And then weave your end tail here, okay? And also in this part. So it's gonna look like that so now i'm going to work also into the other square so just flip your squares into the good side facing together and then sew them together in this part then here in this four square do this two first flip them together like that then when you are here flip this and connect these two together and then when you are done this side do this side to complete sewing all the squares together okay so i'm going to connect all the squares together now and then when you are done we're going to connect all the squares into one to make them already as a back okay all right so to connect here at the back you're going to make a chain two and then go here to continue your slip stitch so i'm going to show you that so for example this so I'm now going here. So what I'm gonna do is to make a chain two. So this is my slip stitch here. And then just chain two here. And then continue your slip stitch in this side. So this is my chain one in this corner. And then I make my slip stitch here. And then continue your slip stitch into the stitches. okay so just put two chain here in between to go in this side so there is a space here for the stretch of the, your stitches okay so do that and continue your slip stitch all right so now we're going to connect all them together first these three two squares and then these two four squares so this is the side the back and this is the bottom so decide what squares you're going to use so first these three connect them together so we're going to connect here and then here and then later we're going to add these two with four squares so first here okay so we're going to connect this or attach so what you're gonna do is this is in the good side out so we're going to work in the good side now so insert your hook into the chain here also into the back loop and in the front loop then just uh, tie to secure so now i'm going to do is single crochet to attach these squares so you are now facing the good side when you work so chain one there and then start single crochet so you start in the same stitch single crochet into the back loop and into the front loop single crochet okay so you can do also the slip stitch if you would like but here i prefer to do now the single crochet So it's going to be look like that so just continue until here and then just when you are done just cut your yarn then weave the tail and then later we're going to connect these two so continue here all right so when you are done connecting here then we're going to connect this together so it's the same i'm going to start here then the single crochet all right so when you are done attaching this part now we're going to attach these four squares in here so this is the side of our bag so we're going to attach the side first here the top down and then here and then here at the bottom and then 
when you're here we're going to work going up to continue and then finish in this corner okay so it's going to form now like a bag okay so first in this side like that and then we're going to continue in this until here and then the bottom and then continue the side until here the top and finish in this part okay so i'm going to do like that yeah all right so we're going to start here going down so just insert your yarn here and it's the same we're going to work a single crochet to chain one first then into the same stitch single crochet then continue single crochet into the stitches so it's still the same we're, go we're still working into the back loop and front loop okay so continue doing single crochet and then here just uh, connect all them together these corners and then continue down and then the side okay okay so i want to show you how to connect the corners these corners these three so now we're going to work here at the bottom so i'm going to show you how to connect here so here into the chain chain corner here and then chain here and then the chain in this square so pull all into that and then make your single crochet just simply as that okay so i'm going to show you again so the chain one here and then the chain one in this square and then the chain one in this square then pull all together and then single crochet then continue so now you work the side and the bottom okay to so continue here on this side all right so when you are done sewing this side now we're going to attach this the other side so you're going to pleat this and do like that then we're going to start also at the top going down then attaching these corners together and continue down and then these corners together and then continue this side until here at the top to finish sewing this part okay so it's really the same just going to start there chain one then single crochet front and back loop of the stitches then continue down then on this side to finish here okay and then we're going to do the handle part or the top part here okay all right so when you are done attaching all the squares together this is how it look like and now we're going to make the top part so this is the sides and this is the bottom so we're going to do now is to make the top part and then the handle all right to make the upper part of our bag so now we're going to insert our yarn here in any of the stitches so i inserted my yarn in this corner so i'm going to start here so what you're gonna do is to make a rose of single crochet so it's very simple a rose of single crochet until you reach the desired height you want for your bag or the upper part of the bag so i'm going to show you how to do this so inserted my yarn here and then I'm going to make single crochet. So first chain one to start and then just start single crochet. So into the stitches. So I'm working now into the regular stitches. I mean into the both loops of the stitches. So just put all single crochet all the way around here in these stitches on top. When you are here, you can do a single crochet in the middle. I will show you later. So just do all single crochet here. Okay, here in this corner, you, what you can do is here, it, it is the chain one. So I put my single crochet in there. So there is a space here between the sewing of these uh, squares. So what we're gonna do is we're going to insert our hook in here. 
and then insert your hook in this side and then grab your yarn and then make a single crochet so just make uh, one extra single crochet in between of these squares okay and then continue here is the chain one of these uh, square so i put my single crochet in there and then continue again into the stitches okay so continue doing your single crochet so again in here you do your single crochet in this chain one and then take one loop here and then one loop in this square and then make a one single crochet in there and then continue in the chain one here your single crochet and then into the stitches so as well in here so every corner you put one extra single crochet in between okay so put all single crochet all the way around and then here when we done we're going to slip stitch all right so when you are done your single crochet so here i put one single crochet between of these squares so i'm going now to slip stitch here into my beginning stitch so just slip stitch here now to proceed to your next row we're going to chain one remember that this chain one doesn't count as a stitch throughout okay so we're going to work single crochet into the same stitch and then continue into the rest of your stitches all single crochet okay so it's easy like that go around all single crochet again then when you are here into your last stitch do your single crochet and then slip stitch here into your first stitch not in this uh, chain one okay so here into the first stitch or else if you are confused in here and did your single crochet it will uh, increase your stitches so make sure to do your single crochet into your first stitch so don't put your single crochet in this turning chain okay so do your single crochet all the way around and continue making a few more rows and later i will show you how many rows that i did for my back for your reference so continue a few more rows of single crochet okay all right so i've done five rows in here so it's up to you if you want to add more to make it uh, more longer your back you can add more a few more rows of single crochet so when you are done here so don't slip stitch just end like this and then just just cut your yarn so leave a bit the long tail there not too long and then just do like that and then grab your yarn needle what we're gonna do is we're going to whip this so we're going to insert our needle here our first stitch and then insert your your needle here inside of this stitch to make a stitch here into your last stitch as you can see it looks like the same with our regular stitches and then just weave in inside so it's going to look like that all right so when you are done your single crochets now we're going to make the handle for the handle we're going to put in here so we're going to put the handle like that or we're going to start here going into this side and also in this part so we're going to start here and go in this side so i'm going to put uh, two handles one here and one in this side but i propose also another way to make a handle you can put also in this part to make a long one and put in here and attach here so you can start in this side and then make a long rows of a single crochet so i'm going to work a single crochet also for my handle but you can do also another stitch like your half double crochet or double crochet so it's up to you but i prefer to make a single crochet for my handle okay so I, I propose also another style of handle to put in here and then make a long and then until you reach the desired long you want for your handle or strap of your bag and then you're going to attach in this side to make it one long handle or strap for your bag okay for my bag i wanted to put two handles so i'm going to put in this part so i'm going to start here and go in this side and then also in the other part so i'm going to start here and make a long and put in here okay so i will do that so to start we are going to put your marker here 
as your guide use your stitches in this part so what i did here is i use this as my guide this double crochet here and look the stitches so this is the stitches of this double crochet so i count one two three four five since the stitches it's a bit uh, slant like that so i put my mark here marker here and that is my guide when i do my handle and also in this side so this is my double crochet corresponding to this double crochet so here so i count one two three four five so this is a bit slant so i want to put my handle here or start my handle here so i put my marker there okay so use this as your guide one two three four five and then skip that and then put in this next stitch okay one two three four five and then this next stitch here and then do this also in the other side okay so just count here this double crochet this part one two three four five then in the next stitch you put your marker and then one two three four five and then here put your marker okay okay so i'm going to put a five stitches of single crochet so i start here in my mark stitch one two three four five so i'm going to end here so also in this part later so i'm going to insert or attach my handle here one two three four five okay so I start here so make sure tie it uh, properly here to be secure your handle so I start here with chain one and then into the same stitch start your single crochet or whatever stitch you're going to use for your handle and then into the next stitch so a total of five stitches or five single crochet one two three four five and then i'm going to make the next row so chain one and turn and then into the first stitch single crochet so do like this along to make your handle okay so a total of five stitches or five single crochet then go to the next row chain one turn then single crochet okay so make along of this five single crochet until you reach the desired length for your handle so i will show you for your reference how long i made for my handle okay so just continue repeating this to make the handle then we're going to attach here Alright, so as I'm doing my handle in this part, I told you that I'm going to make the length that I want for my handle and then I'm going to attach in here. So I changed my mind because if I'm going to continue and then I'm going to attach it here, it's going to be look different. It's not going to look like this. So I want it to be look like this also in this part. But if I continue the length that I want and I'm going to attach it, it's going to look different. So what I I'm going to do now is i'm going to continue here at least the half of my handle and then i'm going to stop in there and then i'm going to start here and then continue the half and then i'm going to sew the this handle together later so that's what i'm going to do it now so you can do also like that or if doesn't matter to you how it look like the handle you can do the first way um, that i told you that you just continue and then you going to attach in here but for me i'm going to do the half of this and then start here the half and then just uh, sew them together in the middle okay all right so i'm done my first handle so this is how it looked like already connected here so this is a total of 25 rows and then 25 rows in this side and then we're going to connect them together so you can try also if it fits into your upper arm or if you want it to be longer you can add more into your rows okay so now i'm going to show you how to attach this together so just leave a bit of long tail here you can use that to sew so now i'm I'm using my yarn needle to sew the handle okay so now we're going to attach this handle so just put like this and then we're going to work into the wrong side so i'm going to work in there and just sew using your yarn needle so now i am working into the both loops all the loops okay so continue your work 
all right so when you are done your handle or the, your strap for your bag i suggest also to put a lining a fabric linings inside to make it more sturdier your bag you can add also a lock or a zipper together with the linings and that would make more sturdier and beautiful your bag all right so thank you so much for joining me making this tutorial hope you enjoy making your bag and you can uh, share your work with me in my instagram at crochet by Beb. if you are using this tutorial i appreciate well if you can uh, show me your work because i really like to to see your work also using my tutorial and yeah thank you so much for supporting my channel if you are not yet subscribed subscribe to my channel for more tutorials coming and tap the bell button so you will be notified all right so again thank you so much and happy crochet everyone bye